Dzień dobry. Good morning. My name is Sebastian and I work at Selena Company. We have prepared an instructional video for you on flat roof renovation and liquid cooler technology. It is a seamless, watertight, highly reflective coating made by the use of water-based polymers. In this video, we will show you the individual stages of application. We start by preparing the substrate, followed by priming and making flashings. In the following steps, we will showcase the individual layers. Cooler system can be applied on the following substrates. Bituminous roofing paper, PVC membranes, acid-resistant steel, coated steel, concrete and cement surfaces. Tools needed for application. Short bristle velour rollers, small and large. Brushes of various length for flashings. Scissors, spatula, polyethylene buckets, masking tape, polarizing sunglasses, hygrometer, pyrometer. In case of mechanical application, an airless spray machine with performance of at least 4 liters per minute and operating pressure over 200 bar should be used. Stage 1. Substrate preparation. Substrate preparation is the first step of resin application. It is the most crucial task in the process, especially in relation to liquid materials. The substrate should be cleaned thoroughly and washed if needed. Only clean water can be used on the roofing paper, whereas application on steel requires active foam to dissolve residue dirt. After the substrate is cleaned and before priming, masking tape should be applied in resin cutting areas. There are two options available. One, we apply tape and prime the entire area of the roof where the resin will be applied. This solution works best when it is certain that the work will be conducted day after day. Two, should there be a longer break between gluing the fabric to reinforce the flashings and placing the first hydro insulation layer, we recommend to only prime areas of flashings and only prime the rest of the area a day before the first layer is applied. Before commencing the application of each layer and primer, the dew point has to be checked. Therefore, it is necessary to measure the relative humidity of air with a hygrometer and substrate temperature with a pyrometer. Stage 2. Substrate Priming As with every other layer, primer can be applied by roller or airless spray. For roofs of over 500 square meters in area, we recommend spray application. We can use a roller for smaller roofs. Spraying is more efficient and economic. In one business day, we can cover up to about 800 square meters with airless spray, whereas with a roller, about 300 square meters. Consumption in manual application is about 400 grams per square meter, whereas spraying takes half of that about 200 grams per square meter. Properly primed substrate has a uniform color, which means that no part has too much or too little of the primer. After priming, the masking tape has to be taken off immediately. Stage three, flashings in cooler system. Making flashings and overhangs requires their preparation beforehand. In case of liquid materials, waterproofing should be started with the flashings. This is the reverse order as opposed to working with rolled materials such as roofing paper. The fabric under the flashings should be cut beforehand and checked whether it fits. After the resin is applied, there is no longer enough time to prepare it. In case of ventilation chimneys and other round elements, the so-called crown should be cut, which then should be sunken in cooler resin. Cuts should be made halfway through the fabric. To improve the water tightness, a piece of fabric should be placed on top of the crown. When fabric is already cut, we apply the resin with the roller and glue the first fragment. In the next step, we sink the whole fabric. This solution is especially recommended for substrates with light thermal insulation and elements which are not permanently fixed to the structure.
We do the same with the remaining flashings. We cut, check, secure with tape, apply resin, sink cooler PESRV fabric, apply resin again, and immediately after completing the work, we remove the masking tape. Working on parapets and firewalls should be started with the corners. A piece of cooler PESRV reinforcing fabric longer than 2 to 3 meters can be difficult to glue down. Therefore, we recommend to cut the fabric into 2 to 3 meter sections and place those with a 10 centimeter overlap. All spaces where it is detached should be immediately redone or sunken in resin to close the gaps. While overlapping the fabric, it is also necessary to apply resin between the two layers of fabric. White spots under the fabric mean there is not enough material under the fabric and that it will result in lack of adherence to the surface. Flashings are the most time-consuming stage of the works. During the process, we need to pay attention to the proper adhesion of the fabric to the surface. Stage 4. Application of the first layer of cooler. Application, same as with the primer, can be manual or via spraying. The first cooler layer is grey, so that no roof elements are omitted while applying the outer white layer. The advantage of spraying over manual application is primarily in a shorter duration of the process. Spray application efficiency can reach up to about 800 square meters a day and with reinforcing fabric about 250 to 300 square meters. With the use of a roller we can apply about 300 square meters without reinforcing fabric and 200 square meters with sunken reinforcing fabric over the entire surface. We start the application from the flashings because we won't be able to access them later. Consumption for one layer is at 0.9 kilograms per square meter without fabric and 1.5 to 1.6 kilograms per square meter with sunken fabric over the entire surface. Stage 5 Installation of Cooler PESRF Reinforcing Fabric Implementation of the system with fabric, which is recommended for soft substrates, involves applying a layer of cooler resin and sinking fabric in it. Then we apply a small amount of resin on top of the fabric to protect it from absorption of water before the next layer is applied. It is recommended that the work with fabric is carried out by two people. One person distributes the resin for the fabric and the other fits the fabric and applies a thin outer layer. A few important notes. 1. About 1.2 kilograms of resin has to be applied under the fabric per square meter. 2. Too little resin under the fabric will cause the fabric to detach. 3. Fabric has to be placed evenly without bumps or folds. 4. If there is too much resin under the fabric, the excess has to be extracted with a roller. Fitting the fabric is possible with either the manual or spraying method. Stage 6 Application of the outer layer in cooler system After the first layer is dry, we can commence the last stage, namely the application of the outer layer. The second layer is white, 
which gives cooler, highly reflective properties, thus improving thermal comfort indoors. As with priming and applying the first layer, cooler fitting can be done with a roller or spraying. Consumption for the second layer is about 0.8 to 0.9 kilograms per square meter. Roof elements, such as chimneys, can also be covered with the white layer. Steel elements do not require grounding. Cooler adheres to them perfectly. As we can see, the temperature of a cooler coated roof is much lower than that of a bitumen coating. In this case, the difference is 24 degrees. The measurements were taken in early spring at air temperature of about 25 degrees Celsius.